I got involved this summer after participating in an event um, and complaining about um, how I thought it wasn't organized well. Um, so I was told if I could complain, I could join and uh, help to make these events better. Our uh, largest event, which was at Culture, um, for the first presidential debate, we had 130 students attend. I don't know many groups on campus that pull together 130 students to one event, unless it's you know Condoleezza Rice coming in to speak. Well, we have booths at every uh, major student function, um, whether we're tabling to not only encourage um, others to join our group, but we also encourage them to register just so they're able to vote. We also encourage them to make the right informed decisions throughout campus. Um, some events that we've done is the uh, debt cake, and uh, that's our most recent one, in which we handed out cake for um, everyone on campus. They could walk by and grab a free piece of cake, and uh, they were each handed their share of the national debt. And uh, our major focus on that was just to make sure that people understand how important this upcoming election is and how critical of a role it is for everyone. And I'm here tonight to lead the discussion with the students to talk about critical thinking and the election. I think the, my, my approach is to look at what are the questions that students can ask to become more informed and how can they, when they're faced with an argument or an idea, how can they make sense of it? Um, in some ways, I don't think their affiliation or their personal beliefs matter that much. Um, of course, they matter to them, but I think for me, it's more about how they think, but not what they think. So I think that you have local elections which do directly affect you, like Senate seats, House seats, uh, and you can directly vote for those representatives, and they do make a big difference in Congress. Um, I mean, the Senator in Montana, I think, was on the Senate Finance Committee, um, and so that was actually like a pretty big role for someone from Montana, and the voters here made that choice. Well, I think this election is a turning point for the United States, and I think we felt this in 2008 as well. Um, but the urgency uh, now is even greater. Uh, we see on both sides uh, clear decisions to be made that are strictly in contradiction of each other. Um, so if a student happens to be against the Affordable Health Care Act, this is the time for him to get involved, he or she to get involved. Um, if they would like to stand with the president and support the Health Care Act, um, this is a time that they can show their support of the president by his re-election. I think more students are voting because they are realizing how important this race is and, uh, and how contributing it is to uh, the nation as a whole. It's very, very important and everyone in the nation is paying attention to it. And uh, as the students begin to realize this, and they have been, um, I think we'll see a greater turnout on election day.